There's nothing more Californian than beaches, surf, sand, and sunshine. And that's because there are over 250 of them here in the Golden State. Today, we are going to feature three of the most popular in our Best of SF list. San Francisco beaches don't really fit into the prototypical bikini clad bodies and boogie boarding in the surf image that is typical of the Cali Coast lifestyle. The weather is generally too cold and foggy and the riptides and currents are a bitch. But this certainly doesn't stop locals from showing up in their down parkas to have a little picnic on the sand or to do a little tide pooling. There's this natural wild beauty to the coastline up here that certainly make our beaches very unique. Starting at the south end of the city in Lake Merced is Fort Funston Beach. Fort Funston used to be a military base in charge of defending San Francisco Harbor, and it was deactivated in 1963 and turned over to the Golden Gate Parks. This then became a very popular location with locals, not so much tourists, especially those with dogs, as it's one of the few beaches and parks that allow off-leash dog walking. The parking lot lets you off about 200 feet above the beach on these sand dunes up here. So you need to have a little bit of agility to get up and down the beach access points, which are all sandy. And because we are on sand dunes, be really careful close to the edge as they are unstable and quite crumbly. The closest beach access point is to the left of the lot. And this one has some sand ladders, which makes coming up and down those sandy dunes a lot easier. But it's also fairly long and windy, so prepare for some exercise. Gorgeous. Sometimes way off into the distance, you could see whales and seals and dolphins. Like most SF beaches, this is not a swimming beach due to the strong riptides and the cold, frigid waters. Back behind me here is where the Fellow Feathers Hang Gliding Club takes off. This is also a very popular launching pad for drone and other remote control aircraft enthusiasts. Unfortunately, nobody's out here today because, well, it's a weekday. But if you come here on the weekends, there are plenty of people out flying and follow this deck here. And there's a great viewing platform to see them taking off. interesting little graph that tells you how to read the windsock. Too light, okay, best, too strong. Today it's okay. Also on this platform are the remnants of two gun batteries from Battery Davis. To the right of the parking lot is a short three-quarter mile trail that leads to a second beach access point that goes all the way down to the northern part of Funston Beach. It's a much shorter but steeper way down and it's pretty sandy, so it'll really work your quads. Check out the amazing view behind me here of Lake Merced and sunset and way in the distance, the Golden Gate Bridge. The nice thing about this area are all these little paths that diverge and there's plenty of hiking areas for you to go with your dog. All along this path here, there are a bunch of these tunnels back here that used to belong to Battery Davis, an old uh, World War II gun battery. And nowadays, they don't lead to very much. There are a bunch of small pathways back here crisscrossing along the cliff tops. And uh, some do go down to the beach if you're brave enough to go scramble down one. This way to the beach. There's roughly two miles of awesome coastline for you and your dog to explore.
Walking this way, you can go a lot further north until you're almost at Ocean Beach. Almost, but not quite. They don't connect. Watch out for high tide though, which require you to wade across some of the passes. And remember, you gotta go back up again when you come down to the beach. If this is too steep for you, go down south, and there are a couple of Dutch ladders that will make climbing up a lot easier. We're just a few miles north at Baker Beach in the exclusive neighborhood of Seacliff. Technically, this is considered part of the Presidio lands. This is the most well-known and photographed beach in all of the city due mainly to one thing. It's a phenomenal view of the Golden Gate Bridge. And this is a must on the shoot list of most wedding, engagement, and maternity photographers. That one's too. Besides the view, it's a pretty pleasant beach. Nice and wide and runs about a mile up and down the coastline of California. Plenty of room for you to spread out and do your thing. One thing to note, Baker Beach is not exactly family friendly. The northern end is a popular nudist destination, as is Marshall Beach, which is a little further north. North Baker Beach has another unique distinction. It was the original site of Burning Man in the 1980s when 20 friends gathered and partied on the beach with a giant bonfire built with driftwood that they found on the beach. These Dutch stairs behind me here are quite well known and will lead you up to the Presidio and the very popular Batteries to Bluffs Trail. In fact, if you need to take a little beach break, the Presidio has a ton of really great hiking trails with magnificent views of the city. The remains of Battery Chamber Lynn are here and the large 50-ton disappearing gun is still operational. During the first full weekend of each month, a docent opens up the guns for a hands-on demonstration from 11 to 3. Just to the north of San Francisco in Marin County is Stinson, one of the city's most popular and one of the few swimming beaches. It is a bit of a hike to get here though. You have to cross the Golden Gate Bridge and then make another 40 minute trek over winding local roads to get to the coast. Once you get here though, there is plenty to do. The fine white sand makes it perfect for sunbathing and swimming is allowed in the summertime, although there are still pretty strong currents out there. In the winter and spring, the conditions are perfect for surfing. You can also borrow volleyball gear from the main lifeguard tower back here. Just make sure to bring along your driver's license for collateral. There's a barbecue area with restrooms right near the parking lot, and you can roast some of those famous Hog Island oysters if you remember to bring a bag with you. If you decide not to haul in your own grub, there are a couple of great cafes right off the parking lot. Try the Siren Canteen for some burgers and tacos, or the Parkside Cafe if you wanna go a little bit more upscale. The Siren Canteen is only opened on the weekends during the off season, but otherwise you can catch it when you're here during the summer. Just inland from the beach is the small town of Stinson Beach. It's just a few blocks really, but really quaint to explore and the people are super friendly. For a change of scene, there are some fantastic trails you can catch to explore Mount Tamalpais or Mount Tam to the locals. The Dipsy Trailhead here is just off the main drag and will take you five miles inland to Muir Woods. That's a good five hour round trip hike. The Matt Davis Trailhead, which is about 100 feet that way near the fire station, will take you into the open areas of Mount Tam. There are more additional trails than I can list on both hands and feet, but to get to the trailheads, you will need a car. Thanks for exploring with me today. It's been incredibly rejuvenating, soaking in all of those negative ions. 
And now I'm going to slowly walk into the sunset with the waves crashing behind me. Peace out.